this is Patrick Moriarty, also known as Inferno, and I'm going to be demonstrating the changes to the 12D engine as of uh, May 9th, 2012. In this video, I'm just going to go over the things that I've put in the engine and basically the current state of the engine as I am going to be demonstrating it for uh, portfolio purposes. Um, as you see here, we are just loading up a scenario. Uh, these are imported models from the game Halo. Uh, combat evolved. Eh, they're just placeholders for the time being, so that can test, you know, how the game engine runs with different models and binary structure planes, etc. I would like to note that the weapon models uh, in the assault rifle and pistol uh, were exported with a program called HFT, so they do not have unwrapping or normals, so they're going to look kind of messed up. But uh, the BSPs themselves are exported properly and imported properly into the engine. The engine runs, the engine currently imports object files, but I'm going to be writing my own importer that uses a different kind of object file that it supports vertex weighting soon. That's a, like next on the to do list, to -do list. Uh, showing a bit of use of the assault rifle, how projectiles work. Currently they are drawn, uh, like the projectile itself is done properly and it, it's just drawn so that it looks like it's coming out from underneath the player. That was simply to show projectile tracing, so you could see what was going on with that. Um, moving a little faster than I thought I was in recording this, but it's alright. Uh, we just show the networking, which is the, well, what this engine is only is aimed to be as a multiplayer engine that can be adapted to different kinds of games, such as MOBAs or FPS games or third-person games or platformers. And you see the server runs as its own little uh, program in the background, and there's a viewport that you can see which is uncommon. Most servers only run command line, but I have implemented a viewport just for the testing purposes and being able to see things in the engine. As you can see here, we have just I'm just <laughs> setting up a second um, client. So I'm running two clients on the same machine to join the server and show how it works. I was originally going to actually have a server and test with some people online, but due to problems with my ISP here at my apartment, I cannot host servers and I was not able to find someone in a reasonable time frame to basically host a server for me and have the test go on. So I am still using a localhost test, which works fine, but it does not show a ping and um, lag compensation are not really... Yeah, I can't really test that with just a local host, so I'm still looking for a time to do uh, online testing. Hopefully that will be soon. Uh, anyways, uh, going back into this, I'm load when you load into the server currently, uh, everyone is in a free cam mode, basically. You can just fly around whoever the hell you want. See, we have a chat window. You can open up, you can talk to people. It sends messages based on what's going on in the game. People join, people leave, people get timed out. Um, people die, kill each other. It's all shown in the chat. This is, you know, pretty standard stuff. But all of these, uh, these are a lot of, like, very core features that have to be in the engine before I can actually progress and start working on a real game. I'm just showing some chat messages sent back and forth. I mean, another thing, like, uh, there's a shadow bug in the background. I haven't finished shaders, and I have not finished lighting. These are, uh, I feel like these are visual things should be focused on after I have the core, me core mechanics of the engine running all together. And, uh, typing into the server right now to spawn all the players, so all the players are now spawned into the game, they can do what they want. Uh, you see, <laughs> have the two weapons, these are just testing weapons, like I said. Not sure what to say from here. I'm kind of tired. Haven't slept in a long time. Um, I'm just showing off that you know the client and the server work. Players can see each other. Players can interact with each other. Players can kill each other. <laughs> Inst uh, the respawn is instantaneous as it is. I haven't really flushed out any of the gameplay mechanics for obvious reasons. I'm still working on the engine, like I've said. There's a lot to do to make this engine complete and make it ready to be used for actual games.
although uh, with the current state of the engine, the major goals that I'm looking to finish, and I, I was hoping to finish a lot of these things before I was setting up portfolio, but um, I have, you know, time restrictions, things, school is ending this semester, and it's still just showing <laughs> me killing myself, technically, but uh, major things with the engine. I hope to implement vertex weighting and the new object, like I'm going to create my own version of OBJ waveform objects to use for the engine. Because I actually really like the structure of the OBJ. It's It can be built in one pass, so I don't have to like search through a file to create an object. I can just go straight through it, read it in, create the object, all done. I'm going to add shader shaders, because currently I'm just drawing textures to triangles. I'm not shading them, and that's why everything's like drawn diffuse flat almost, in terms of lighting and specular. I hope to improve the networking. There are lots of things I can do better to improve uh, performance online. And additionally, I obviously need to improve the HUD, like uh, as you can see, FP models and stuff are just drawn very sim simply. And yeah, I mean, once I have HUD and all that stuff all together, I think at that point I'll just be improving and optimizing physics because as it stands, my physics calculations are a bit slow. I am using uh, a kind of hybrid of edge intersection versus player, as well as the player tracing its, like, basically extruding its collision model out to test, which uh, gives a pretty accurate collision. There are some bugs, and I am working those out as I continue to progress in the engine. I'm trying to think of some other things. <laughs> I just, uh, I am very bad at, oh, here I'm showing, uh, just reloading as server changes map, player changes map directly afterwards, works just fine. Although the free camp spawned way out, way out at the origin zero zero. The Halo maps tend to have their origins way outside the map, I have no idea why that is, it's always been something like that. So, <laughs> yeah, but, uh, you spawn in the map, and, um, Ah, I'm just trying to think of some things. Yeah, I hope to add uh, support for projectile, uh, non-hitscan projectiles. As it's then all there is is scan, but that's just that's pretty simple to implement overall. I already have all the point physics systems in place to create, you know, grenades and spin fuser discs, whatever I feel like. And I mean, a lot of the structure is already in place. Just a lot of things I need to finish up and polish up as they are. Uh, that'll be the end of this demo for today, and uh, thank you for watching.